So, um, for those of you who don't know, I am Brian Yost. David has asked me to do some percussion and piano and other parts for his new album, which we are all very excited about. Um, so I'll give you a quick run through the uh, my studio situation here. It's much different than back home in Ohio. Um, I'm in New York City right now. Um, so everything is apartment friendly, uh, such as, I'm just going to walk you through it. We've got the Roland drum kit, uh, no real drums, unfortunately, as much as I miss them, all going to uh, into the computer, hanging out, simple interface, simple uh, four channel interface, only using two right now, stereo out from the Roland kit, a bunch of guitar and bazooki strings. Things like that. Um, going into a simple headphone amp, I'll kick everything up. I can patch also into the stereo in the room for playback. And then just a host of other stuff, DIs, uh, a handful of different mics, MIDI keyboard, a bunch of cables, other pedals, other drum parts. So I have one mic plugged in right now. Um, simple stuff. Mandolin on the wall, a couple of the instruments that I'm going to try to feature, bazooki, banjo, um, don't really know where it'll go in the next couple days, uh, I know I have some piano parts to play too, but uh, it'll be an interesting time, so I'm glad to be a part of it. Something that's always fun, within reason, of course, is to actually, because I can actually play with the bass drum sound, you're hearing it live, but I can move with it, <coughs> change the kit, change, I will think I want to do with this, you can barely hear it, but if I tune it down, give it more of a old, almost, not orchestral, but maybe like field, like marching band type sound, but cheating, apartment style, with the djembe mic'd, and the kick is actually a trigger off of that, going into here. And now we're going to record You'll See. One for mandolin. So this one is more for me than anything. So David might never use it and it might never see the light of day. So this is your one chance to hear it. Um, I guess some other, that's another fun thing I'm going to do, um, working on Fear Followed right now, 
simple, easy part, actually. I'm just adding a piano part. Um, five notes, that's all it is. But um, I've got the MIDI on the computer. Um, actually going to use a real piano for a couple of the other songs, but I'm trying to get some of this stuff out of the way as quick as I can. So, um, yeah, it's all I'm doing for this is really just... I don't know if you can hear that or not. You hear it? That's all I'm really doing for this song. Um, I actually already recorded it. I'll give you a snippet if you want to hear it. That's all it really is, so, secrets fueled by mozzarella and prosciutto and crystal blood. Light. I'm thinking of kind of a loop, really, because I know David likes to, to use his little loop station. Um, based off of the kit, uh, stunt box that I built myself, plug it in, party box, old cigar box, and um, you know, a mix of other percussion. I got tambourines, bells, shakers, um, and then kind of building some sort of loop out of that. So who knows how that's going to go. I did three different kick drum parts, obviously all just four on the floor, but so I can mixed between the three, and then I've got three different snare and hi-hat parts, a couple just hi-hat, a couple snare and ride, mixed together with the percussion, and then something hopefully will come out of that. Now this used to be part of a, uh, a big thing of bells that I would actually tie around my leg in some other bands that I've played with, um, when I do like hand percussion and sit or stand with a djembe or what have you. Um, this is probably it's last time seeing some uh, some air time. So, here we go, ready? starting to get dark on the first day of recording for David. Um, done a couple takes of The Fall so far, which he wanted with kind of a feel of like the frames, Glenn Hansard and those kids across the pond. Um, so this is going to probably be one of my last takes of this, so let's hope it works out. About the first minute or so is David by himself and then I come in later so here we go <laughs> the end of the day and we'll see where we end up tomorrow.